Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll be taking you uh, to a tool in SOLIDWORKS which is basically a major tool and you can find it inside the evaluate command uh, in SOLIDWORKS. So before talking about uh, how we are going to do that, let's see why we have to use this uh, major tool. So most of the time when you receive uh, let's say a part or an assembly uh, you are not uh, sure about the dimensions of hole or maybe the length of uh, the edges or uh, the distance between the two arcs or stuff like that so uh, before uh, modifying uh, the part what you can do is you can uh, pretty much measure the dimensions of each and uh, every individual uh, length or uh, edges as well as the arcs now you can also uh, do this with the help of let's say going back to your uh, design tree and going through each and every sketch but that's uh, that's that's that gets complicated if you have a very a very big part with a lot of uh, uh, things going on now this one is a simple part so uh, it won't be uh, in difficult now uh, to use the measure tool we can uh, go to evaluate and uh, then go for measure let's say I want to know the uh, diameter of this arc so we can just click it and we can get to know what's the diameter which is obviously 65 over here and we can also get the diameter of this one which is 210 let's check diameter of this one this is also 210 let's check the length of this edge which is 320 we can also check the uh, fillet of this thing so we can get a fillet of 20 radius now the other things that we can do inside measure tool is we can use our xyz measurement so let's say i select this edge okay and now this one gives me the overall area of this part All right so let's say I want to check uh, from here to here so you can see all those different uh, uh, distance so this center distance is 537.4 uh, with the diameter over here for both the hole and we can go for, uh, check the center which is minus 190 190 and this z direction is 380 okay and this y direction is also 380 so you can check all these uh, xyz measurements also you can uh, go for let's say I'll clear this and then in this one we have different options to go for center to center so let's say I'll select center to center and from here to here I can get my center distance which is 537.4 now if I change it to minimum distance you can see how the value is changing so it's sticking from the perimeter of the circle and if I change it to maximum it will go the other way around measuring the distance which is the maximum distance so that's how you can uh, check all those uh, measure and we can also do custom uh, distance where you can assign center uh, minimum and all those things all right the other thing that I want to uh, share is we can also change the units so let's say I'll select Measure units and precision, and we can go for custom units. So that even though if your part is um, designed in MMGS or any other uh, unit system, you can use your own unit system. Let's say inches, and you can change angular unit system also. We can go for radian, and let's say we go for OK. So now let's check this. So we can get the diameter as uh, 2.56 inches, right? So these are the different options that we can use inside the measure tool in SOLIDWORKS. There are a few more options which uh, we don't, we can have a measurement history. So whatever measurements we have taken, we get all the history over here and we can create sensor also. 
right so that's it for the major tool basics and uh, hope you guys like it if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and i will see you guys in the next tutorial peace out